Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have a great article from Fierce Wireless. I will leave it in the description down below so you guys can check it out. Verizon not just chasing pops in 5G midband race. So Verizon knows that they're behind on midband. There's there's no other way to put it. Now, Verizon is moving as fast as they can, but they know to that they have to temper themselves publicly, right? They guided 250 million by the end of 2024 publicly, but have since stated that they're well well ahead of that plan. So, there's going to be a number that we get by the end of this year that is going to be very close to that 250. It's likely going to be 230, 240. The reason it's not more since they already hit the the 200 million pops in the beginning of the year, well, not uh, around March or so, end of March, it's because now the hard part starts, right? It's going to be the same for Verizon as it was for T-Mobile. Now the pops are more spread out. So they have to they have to cover more landmass to gain more pops. So they're going to be I think beginning of 2025 is when Verizon will close in on the 300 million pops. So that's why they're not chasing the pops because they just they know internally it's going to take them time. There's no other way around this. It's going to take time, right? If they get to 230, 240, maybe 250 if they get to 250 this year then at the end of next year they'll get to 300 but if they get to 230 240 then i think they get to 300 early 2025 so check out this article there's a lot of info in this article but verizon is also looking at the 5g standalone core which i don't know why it's called standalone it's it's just 5g that's all it is and They're also looking at voice over NR and they're looking at open RAN and and they're looking at all of that. So they're not just chasing the pops. They also want to, of course, transition over to a complete 5G network, same as T-Mobile. But again, you know, when it comes to that cutting edge, T-Mobile will be at the forefront. T-Mobile will launch voice over NR at scale far, far before Verizon will. Right, Verizon is 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 focused on midband right now, but they still have to swap out other radios. There's still a large part of their network that's LTE only, where they have to go and deploy that DSS or whatever they plan on deploying, you know, uh, in the future. They have to still do that. They have to still upgrade their 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 baseband units to be able to offer 5G in these areas as well. So Verizon is 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 going to have a lot of work to do when it comes to that. So not only are they are they you know sort of chasing that midband pop count from T-Mobile, Verizon will also have to upgrade the other part of the network, which is the the coverage part, right? A lot of that is still LTE perform, performing great, but in order for them to to offer 5G, offer voice over NR, offer aggregation, they're going to have to upgrade a big part of their network, which they they started doing but if you look at their map they have a long way to go to to get there so just wanted to share that with you guys today make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more like share subscribe follow my social media outlets this is tyrone with tech life and i'll see y'all in the next one peace